Hi, I'm Chris Ajamian, and I'm the CEO and founder of Kate's Tutoring. Kate's Tutoring is a boutique tutoring, test prep, and admission support company. We're based in New York City, and we have a, an office in London. We work with students one-on-one, -on -one, privately. We work with students in small groups. We also run classes for students who are preparing for the SAT, the ACT, and the subject tests. Pretty much anything that you want to do as far as testing goes, and whatever format you want to do it in, we can help you out with it. The U.S. admissions process is a holistic process because the admissions officers at the universities take a big picture standpoint when considering your application. They're looking at not just your test scores and grades, but also your extracurricular activities, your essays, what story, what picture are you painting of yourself, who's the whole person that you're presenting in your application, and that's what they're looking for, and that's what you're being judged on. In my opinion, the biggest mistake that UK students make in uh, the U.S. admissions process is that they do not give it enough time. They come to it way too late, and when they do, they're unfortunately uninformed and do not give the process the, uh, the props, if you will, it deserves, because it's extremely challenging, sophisticated, but very, very doable if you understand the ground rules and how the game is played. So my five tips for the U.S. admissions process are as follows. Number one know the nature of the process. As many people have said, myself included, this is a holistic process and they're looking at the full picture of your application. Grades, test scores, activities outside of school, passions, the essays, who are you as a person? Number two, know how the tests work. You are being evaluated in relation to your peers, not the tests. You're not being graded or evaluated on how well you do on the exam, but rather how well you do in relation to the other people taking the test. And these are not exams that can be taken just by rolling out of bed. You have to prepare for them because they favor those who are prepared the best to take them. Number three, know the competition. Yes, you are going against your best friend many times in the application process. You want to look at the process as not a competitive process from the standpoint of me versus the other person, but really, who am I? How can I present myself in the fullest form in my application and understand what makes you stand out from the crowd? Number four, understand when to start. Too many UK students make the mistake of starting too late in the process. What does that mean? It means in the fall of their last year. In my opinion, the best time to start looking at the U.S. Uh, admissions and testing process is at the end of your GCSE year. I'm not saying to prepare for your exams then or start your applications, but it's, that's the right time to start investigating the process, figuring out how to approach it, how the test works, and what schools you should be looking at. Number five is knowing the schools. You know, Brown and Georgetown are two of the most popular schools for international students, particularly those in the UK. However, those two schools could not be more dissimilar in many ways. Thus, a student who might want to go to Brown may not be the right fit for Georgetown and vice versa. Understanding how the schools work will help cut down your time, cut down your application time, and get you positioned better for an admit to your top choice school. 